This episode of the New Hampshire Business Show is sponsored by Everlasting Capital. If you're a small business and you need money and a bank won't give it to you, Everlasting Capital is here to help. In as quickly as a couple of days, you can have the funding your business needs for new equipment or anything else you can need the capital for. So submit your application today and see how they can help you out. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the New Hampshire Business Show. My name is Chris Pastrana, and today we are here with Carrie Lord of Embellished Bamboo. How's it going? Pretty good. How about you? I'm doing fantastic. So let's get going. Uh, Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, Well, I live in Raymond with my husband and my daughter and my grandson, and I was going to gut the living room and completely redo it one day, and my husband said, ooh, how about if I buy you an embroidery machine instead? Okay. Yeah. So, um, so there we are. I started embroidering and, uh, I was, I started out doing dresses and I had a mm-hmm. ball and somebody said, Ooh, how about if you do leggings? Okay. And Ooh, how about if you do bamboo? Okay. And I just find myself compiling all this fabric and clothing and ideas and, and I love to sew, and I love to embroider. That's pretty cool. So, bamboo. Yes. Because <laughs> you mentioned that. So, what do you mean by embroidering bamboo? Like using it or embroidering on it? So, when I say bamboo, I'm talking bamboo fabric. Okay, yeah. And it's rare that I use 100% bamboo. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's certainly soft. It's very heavy. Yeah. Um, so I use usually a mix of bamboo, organic cotton, and a little bit of spandex to give me that stretch. Okay. And I do a lighter weight for dresses and a heavier weight for leggings. And okay. when I say bamboo, I'm you can buy bamboo cheap, and it's usually a viscose product. Which yeah. is, um, it's it's like rayon. So rayon, most people don't like rayon because of the process that you have to go through to get it. It's yeah. very chemical. There's a ton of chemicals to produce rayon. The bamboo that I use is a little more expensive, but it's a closed loop process. There are two chemicals that mm-hmm. you to produce this fabric. So it's eco-friendly. You still get the super softness and it's been compared to silk or cashmere as far as the softness goes. If you throw in the spandex, leggings are stretchy. Yeah. And so you get that stretchy, but you still get the softness and the weight that you need. I don't do opaque leggings. Okay. So I need I need some weight. I need some strength. Bamboo is ultra strong. I like bamboo is moisture wicking. It is antimicrobial. Mm-hmm. It is antibacterial, uh, hypoallergenic. And the care for it is so easy. You don't have you can wear your leggings for three days before you have to wash them. Yeah. Unless you, you know, spill something on them or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. So bamboo is the way to go. That's pretty cool. Now, just from kind of what you were saying, it sounds like, are you making the clothes as well? Yes. Okay. So you're making the whole thing. And that's where everybody gets confused. I do have some product um, in a storefront. A Mm -hmm. good friend of mine at the pet pantry, I had gone to her because she owned a, a small business. Yeah. I wanted to know how do I find my wholesaler? How do I get my product out there? And she said, I'll give you a corner of my store. Yeah. To help you. And so it was really cool. So I have a big window corner uh, at the pet pantry and I, I add about five items every week and I can't wear all of the stuff that I want to make. There's not enough days in the year. Yeah. And I didn't want to go to a box store and get $6 leggings 
and throw something on them. Yeah. I want a quality product that I know was well built. And then I embroider, sometimes it's my own design. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a purchased design. But I know when I get done with that product, it's a good product. Yeah. If I wouldn't buy it, I wouldn't sell it. Okay. I like it. So I'm, I'm creating my own patterns. And I started out with the dress that there isn't another one like it that I've seen anywhere. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it's like a one size fits most. And everybody said, well, why don't you try this? I can't use somebody else's pattern. That's against yeah. the law. So I had to create my own. Mm -hmm. And then the woman that owns the pet pantry said, well, you've got these leggings. Now you got to put, well, you can put with them. You got to have something with them. So I created a top, a, a blouse pattern. Okay. And then I said, well, I don't really like that hem. How about if I do something else? And so I've just kind of evolved. And I now have about six different shirt patterns, um, a basic legging pattern, the dresses. And very soon, I'm going to get into doing for kids. That's really impressive. Thank you. That's really good. There's a lot of times when I speak to people who are in like the apparel industry, kind of like you are, yeah. it's a lot of they're just selling someone else's product. Yeah, no. <laughs> so that's why I think is really cool is like, you're actually, you're making the whole thing yourself. That's, like, that's an entirely different level of <laughs> um, clothing or apparel that I don't get very often. That's really impressive. I like that. Thank you. It's fun. And if you like what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. <laughs> uh, I hear that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I would I was argue it's still still a lot of work but you know it's at least it feels better <laughs> it, is, it is a lot of work I mean I'm I have my basement set up and we we literally just kind of gutted the basement redid the whole thing and set my machines up I have five or six machines up in here and I have sergers straight stitchers and of course the embroidery machines yeah and I'm down here usually six to seven days a week. Yeah. But I get an idea and I just kind of run with it. <laughs> yeah. And so I have to, I have to go down a lot of times. Um, the woman at the, at the pet pantry, I, I work for her a couple of days a week. Yeah. And so if I'm at work and I have an idea, I have to write it down. So yeah. that when I get home, I can, I can put it to paper or I can put it to digitizing whatever it is that I'm trying to do. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's a labor of love. This, if you go online and you look up bamboo leggings, you're going to find them for about $80 a pair. Oh, wow. Mine are running 30 to $50 a pair. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. They're very affordable. Um, the dresses are 40 to $50. Yeah. The tops are 35 to $45. So it's affordable. It's comfortable. It's fun. I mean, how many people can say they have fun clothes? Yeah. You know, and hmm. I'm doing, now I'm doing a kind of a collaboration with a good friend of mine that tie dyes. And she's tie dyeing a ton of fabric for me, and I'm turning that into leggings and dresses. That's really cool. That's pretty impressive. Thank you. Yeah. So, where are you looking to take all of this? That's a good question. Um, when I started out, everybody said, "You're you're not charging enough." And I said, look, I'm not looking to get rich. I'm looking to pay for my habit. Yeah. And sewing and embroidery are expensive, but that's my habit. Um, I don't see me doing, you know, this, this New York presentation. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I like to make clothes and I like to make people happy. And everybody that buys my stuff says, oh my God, I love it. 
And so I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not shooting for the moon. I'm, I'm shooting to get fun, attractive, well-made clothing to yeah. people who want to wear fun, attractive, well-made clothing. Pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, because everyone has different, uh, I guess, dreams for what they want their businesses to do. Some are looking to expand and go, you know, national and all this type of stuff. It just to me, it sounds like you're just happy, you know, making a few things here and there and, you know, just enjoying it. Absolutely. I got that right? Okay, cool. I have a couple of special orders hanging now that, um, so if I make something up and I display it either on Etsy or in a store window, um, somebody sees it and they go, Oh, that's not my size. Yeah. So, you're in luck because I make this stuff. So <laughs> I can make your size. Yeah. And so I do a lot of that. Um, but it just, just to get the product out there. I mean, if I were selling 20, 30 items a week, I'd be in hog heaven. I'm yeah. not, looking, you know, I'm not looking to sell <laughs> mass. I don't want to be a box store kind of thing. I don't, yeah. I don't want somebody else. Somebody said to me, well, you should, you should really bring in some stitchers and have this stuff produced mass. No, I do this because I love to do this. Yeah. I don't want somebody else doing my stitching and doing my embroidery. This is what I like to do. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I guess it's kind of the, the trade off there is I was thinking this even earlier on in this interview. It was like, there's, there's a limit to how much you can physically do, you know? So yes. when you said earlier that you work in six, seven days a week, you know, do this types of stuff. I'm like, yeah, there is a limit to how many garments you could produce, even if you work 24 seven. Right. So to grow, you would have to, again, bring on help. But if you're not looking to do that, then yeah, you could make a good little living just, you know, working yourself. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not looking to get rich. Yeah. Um, I'm looking to pay for my habit. Yeah. <laughs> Which is really cool. It's good. Um, so let's see. So we have all that. So you have the one shop now that's the pet pantry that has all your stuff in it. Are you looking to have a couple of more places? Like what are you short term trying to do? Um, I also have a few things up North. Uh, mm -hmm. I have family up in uh, Wells river, Woodsville. Um, and there's a shop up there called copies and more. Yeah. And the back end of copies and more has a gift shop. And so that's actually where I started out selling my dresses. I'd made, I don't know, 10, 12 dresses and yeah. put them up there and they all sold. Yeah. And the woman contacted me and she said, you know, we can really use your stuff. It, it sells here. It sells well. Yeah. And so I did that. And I've also put some stuff on Etsy. Haven't had any luck with Etsy. But mm -hmm. I'm told that the more you have on there, the better you do. Yeah. And so I need to, I really need to take the time. I'm not great about describing my product. Okay. You really need a great description on Etsy. Um, mm -hmm. And so I need to take a day and really go through my product, what's on there. Um, yeah you know, just really beef it up and put more on there. Yeah. But I'm so busy. So I don't like the, I don't like the anti-personal aspect of it. Yeah. Like all the, the menial stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, the bookwork. I don't yeah. like the bookwork. Yeah. That stuff, that can get kind of boring and tedious and. Yes. Yeah. So if I were to hire someone, it would be someone to do that stuff for me. Yeah. You I know, can see that. Alone, let me do my stitching. Go do my book work yeah <laughs> yeah i can see that yeah definitely that's funny uh, so that's kind of my long-term goal is to get my product out in a few different places and right now it's literally i have a 200 mile spread plus mm -hmm. etsy so um so that's pretty cool that was that was kind of exciting for me that was like you know my growth yeah yeah definitely it would feel pretty good too you're like oh it it sells well. People actually like it. You know, that's, yes, that's good. 
yeah. yeah. I guess it's all you could ever want, right? <laughs> yes. You know, if, if you're not looking for the New York runway, this is the way to go. Yeah, definitely. Huh, that's pretty cool. So where can people find and see more uh, of your stuff? So you can go to Etsy and look for Embellished Bamboo. You can go to Copies and More in Wells River, Vermont. And you can go to the Pet Pantry in Exeter, New Hampshire. Cool, awesome. Do you have a Facebook page or anything for it? I do not yet. Uh, again, the book work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I gotcha. Um, but I do have... Like I'll post something on my personal Facebook page, which is yeah. Carrie Ward. Um, and then my niece has a massive Instagram and I digitized a very personal pair of leggings for her. She hikes um, and she's Jenny Ruffin and she kind of promotes my product for me. So yeah. I did a pair of leggings for her. Uh, she has hiked 60, the, the 67 of the 4,000 footers in New Hampshire. Oh, wow. And so I did a very personal pair of leggings with her, for her rather, with, um, with a hiker and a mountain background. And it says um, 67, 4,000 feet. Hmm. And, um, and so she's kind of helping promote through Instagram and my daughter promotes through Instagram. Yeah. And so I've got all these people kind of, you know, helping me promote this stuff. That's awesome. You got a good little marketing team there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just let me sew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, do what you love to do. Yes. You know? <laughs> that's pretty cool so awesome well thank you so much for joining me today this has been interesting i love i love what you do and i love that you actually make your own clothes i think that's a really interesting touch that i don't see a whole lot nowadays like i was saying earlier and i'm that's impressive thank you awesome well thank thanks you so for much having me, Chris. absolutely and thanks for taking you know such short notice to, <laughs> to come on the show <laughs> hey no it worked out absolutely okay awesome well you have a great day and uh I'll talk to you later. All right. Thanks so much, Chris. Definitely. All right. Bye-bye.